This is how I've been working for the last few hours. <laughs> that just made me feel so much more normal. Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm gonna take you along a day in my life and it is currently during the lockdown here in Toronto. So I am just going to show you around my day of how I've been adjusting my routine. Today is Sunday, so it's not a work day. So I can show you a little bit more of a relaxed routine while I am practicing social distancing and self quarantine to help flatten the curve. This is such a challenging time for so many people and I do want to recognize that I feel so lucky that I can just kind of take my normal routine and bring it in my home and I haven't been too too impacted just like by working from home and small adjustments so I feel really lucky I feel really lucky to also have the resources to be able to like stock up on groceries and things that I need during this time but I do want to say thank you to everyone who is continuing to work that is in the medical practice as well as just working in like a grocery store or something that is still continuing to operate like firefighters people that work at the post office delivery people I'm sure that this is such a challenging time for those that can't alter their work schedule and and need to continue so just kind of wanted to put that disclaimer out because I just don't feel right putting out a video without like really addressing it and talking about how like I am so fortunate to show you this day in my life but I also hope that my video could be a source of positivity during this time because I know that this is affecting everyone and mentally I want to spread some positivity with that being said I just woke up a little bit ago um, I was doing some stretches because my back has been so sore because I have spent the last week indoors um, pretty much just like sitting or laying around I haven't been doing too much walking or standing in my normal routine anymore and I also think it had something to do with my feet so I put on these adidas slides to help have some sort of support for my feet like I know they're not like the most supportive shoes but I think it's also impacting my back because I've been barefoot all week and like walking on hard floors I don't know I've been doing some stretches to help alleviate the pain in my back and it's been feeling a little bit better although it was hard to sleep last night obviously this is not a big <laughs> worry but I did want to mention it because that's just how I've been feeling so I'm gonna make my coffee and I'm actually going to take it out and bundle up and go for a walk by myself because it's still pretty early and there's not really people outside I've been trying to not even go outside really but I've been cooped up and I want to go for a walk right now it doesn't look like there's too many people out and about I'm looking out my window so I would rather go now than later on but it's really cold this morning so I need to bundle up and head out. While my coffee is brewing, this is what I changed into. It's so important to get changed and like even if you're putting on more comfy clothes, it's really important to get changed out of your pajamas or the clothes that you slept in to like actually start your day and make it feel a little bit more in your routine. So I'm wearing this sports bra from Forever 21. It's like a high neck one. I think it's really cute. I love the color, it makes me happy. And then these leggings are also from Forever 21. They are seamless leggings and then they have like little ribs on the knees. And then I'm wearing this gray sweater. This is a Reebok sweater, it says it on this side. And <laughs> I'm wearing these for now, but I'm gonna put on running shoes. I got these new socks, not that you really care, but they're from Amazon and they're like black athletic socks. I will link them down below because I didn't really have black athletic socks. And some of my shoes like look Better with black socks and I just like black socks better like on an everyday basis I always wear black socks so anyways that is what I'm wearing today but to go out in the cold I'm gonna put on these roots sweatpants on top of my leggings and put on like hat and gloves and stuff and then my jacket because it's really cold outside and I want to be comfortable while I walk but no hair and makeup today <laughs> which is one of the perks of not going out and seeing other people or like really caring what you look like in group settings. I washed my hair last night and it dried like this. I washed my face, I put on cream and lip balm and my coffee's ready now, it's time to pour it. Even when I'm still at home, I like my little to-go cups because it has a lid so I feel like it keeps the coffee warmer for longer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
this is the part of my day that makes me feel most normal. I can't even tell you, like that just made me feel so much more normal. That's like the part of my routine that I used to do every morning when I go to work. I will like get changed, make my coffee and get ready and put it in my cup and drink it. So changing your clothes and making your coffee, honestly, like maybe you don't drink coffee, but like doing something that you normally do in your everyday routine makes you feel more normal at this time. So I recommend it. I'm just gonna sit for a minute and drink some water. Eat this banana that is getting a lot of spots. So maybe I'll make banana bread at some point. That would be exciting. And take a few sips of my coffee just before I head out. All right, now that I just got sucked into TikTok for the last 30 minutes, I've pretty much finished my coffee. I also made a TikTok if you would like to follow. I will put the link down below. My username is just Pretty Polishes. And I've been experimenting with TikTok during this lockdown. So I'd love if you go follow me over there. It's been super fun and it's like different content. I've been like dancing and stuff. It's better than this right now. But anyways, just wanted to shout that out. I'm going out. Putting on my pants because it is, let me check the weather. It's cold outside, I know for sure. It is minus one degrees Celsius. Put in my headphones. Let's go. I'm home from my walk now and it is exactly 12 o'clock and I organized a family group FaceTime call because today's Sunday and we normally do Sunday lunch at 12 o'clock. So instead we are all going to FaceTime from our homes. So I'm gonna set that up. Calling my family. Hi, say hi to the vlog. I'm on my AirPods now, it's better. Where is everyone? Ah, oh, Julia's here. <laughs> Oh. Hi, Maui. <laughs> I am done on FaceTime with my family and I just made this lunch. So it's a little bit of a salad. So I have grilled chicken on the bottom, quinoa, I put chickpeas, cucumbers, and tomatoes. And then I dressed it with balsamic vinegar and olive oil, a little bit of salt, pepper, and oregano. And that's gonna be my lunch. I kind of made this up. I've never really had all these things combined together, but it's kind of like a salad without the lettuce. I think it's gonna be delish. Lighting my favorite candle. This is rose water from Bath and Body Works. I have like four of them and it's still not enough because this is my absolute favorite scent. And now I'm setting up a cozy workstation. I just filled <laughs> this guy with hot water and I'm gonna put it on my back and set up a cozy workstation on my bed because my back hurts. Oh, Christian's calling me. Hello. Hey. Hi, I'm vlogging. Vlogging? How yeah. <laughs> um, I'm putting this hot water bottle on my back okay. because it hurts. And then I'm, I have my laptop in front of me and a pillow and I'm gonna edit my video now. I'll call you back. Enjoy, bye. Anyways, so <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna set up my laptop here and try to work like this because my back is in pain. Oh no, I need my charger. Well, we'll keep going until, nah, I should just get it now. 12% battery. It's not gonna last very long. I've also been doing stretches, I promise, but I'm hoping that this helps to soothe my back a bit. This is what it looks like on my side. The camera was sitting on my cream here, my candle, my laptop, and I'm working. FaceTiming my mom while eating a pear. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how are you feeling? You look good. I took a nap. About the pears? Yeah, when I went to the grocery store last Monday. It was my last one, but they're really soft. 
Yeah, I took a nap because my arm was hurting and I was getting paranoid. Update, my hair looks funky because I put it in a ponytail while I was laying down. So I took a nap a bit earlier. I also had a snack before I took a nap. That rhymed. Um, I had Triscuits, some Swiss cheese, some hummus and crack. Uh, and cucumbers. Now is 8.30 and I had a pear because I wanted something sweet, but I'm not really hungry for dinner. So did I just skip dinner? I'm confused. But yeah, I told you I've been having body pain and the pain then was starting to hurt my arm. So I've been like really paranoid and having a lot of fear, especially with my back pain. I just was like extra paranoid. So I decided to take a nap. And honestly, that's how my day is going. Now I'm looking at, I have three bananas left and they're really, really ripe. And three bananas is what the recipe calls for to make banana bread. Hmm. Do I make banana muffins? I have a muffin tin and I have a hand mixer. My mom bought it for me for Christmas. I think this is the time to break it out. First, filling this up and making some tea. It is much, much later. I finished my tea a little bit ago. Yes, I'll turn off that light when I come back in there. And now I'm heating up some food. I also had yogurt a little bit ago. This is a Lee Berté Greek vanilla yogurt. I like that one. Now I'm actually hungry, although it is quite a bit later. I'm just gonna heat up some pasta. It's gonna make cereal, but I have the pasta and if I don't eat it, then it's gonna go to waste. So I'm heating it up, but I have just been on a grind working on a new video and I think the fact that I'm filming this video today is like motivating me to edit the other one it's also been a source of my anxiety for two months and I don't use the word anxiety lightly because it's actual anxiety but I'm finally getting to it and I'm feeling happy about it so this is the pasta that I am reheating it has vegetables in it and I made it maybe two days ago I also took out my butter and this egg it's actually quite a bit softer than I thought it would be because this was actually in the freezer because I don't go through butter that often so I keep it in the freezer. My mom says it is best to always keep the egg out at room temperature before you bake with it. So I was actually going to put this off till tomorrow. So I actually ended up baking these the next day and showed it on my Instagram. It was so much fun and I have been posting a ton on my Instagram stories, especially now that we are in quarantine. So I recommend that you go over and follow me there to catch up with me when I'm not posting on YouTube. I kind of just want to fo focus on my video and finish that. That'll be my priority, but I'm going to eat this. This is how I've been working for the last few hours. I have the hot water bottle on my upper neck back because I had it on my lower back and now I'm switching to up here. And I have two pillows propping up my laptop as well as two pillows behind my back. It's not the most ergonomic because my elbows are not raised, but it's better than it was. My desk is not ergonomic and sitting there hurts my back. So this is how I'm doing it. All right, popping on here to say goodnight because I'm going to sleep now. I didn't get everything done that I wanted to today, but I'm trying not to put pressure on myself because of the circumstances right now. I didn't do a, a workout, which I wanted to do. I have workout clothes on, but I didn't do a workout today. But I'm proud of myself for the progress that I made on my video and also just remembering to take it easy because I was in a lot of pain and trying to figure that out and combat it so anyways i'm gonna keep vlogging throughout this as it's a weird time we are all um self-quarantined so anyways i hope you enjoyed watching this vlog um i know that i'm finding a lot of comfort by watching vlogs and and youtube videos right now of, of people doing the same thing as me so i hope that this video was relatable and comforting to all of you let's provide a support system for each other in the comments below and i will see you in my next video bye